Three states this week raised the minimum age to purchase cigarettes and e-cigarettes. Dr. John LaPook on what's behind a nationwide crackdown on teen addiction to nicotine. So you did vape a little bit? Uh, yes. 17-year-old Caleb Mintz is on the front lines of the war on youth e-cigarettes. He tried them briefly himself before stopping and has watched as more and more of his friends use them. I've seen people use it in classrooms when the teacher's not looking. Um, so obviously, the bathroom has now become the jewel room and the vaping room. Um, is that what it's called? That's what some people call it. I've even seen a joke where someone said, why is there a toilet in the vape room? There are new efforts to curb the rise in e-cigarette use among young people. This week, Arkansas, Texas, and Vermont joined nine other states in enacting laws that raise the legal age to buy any tobacco product, including e-cigarettes, to 21. Five more states will have similar laws in effect by next year. The CDC reports 215 possible cases of severe lung disease and one death associated with the use of e-cigarette products, which contain the same nicotine that has caused addiction with regular cigarettes. After seeing Caleb's experience with e-cigarettes, his mother Meredith Berkman co-founded Parents Against Vaping E-Cigarettes, or PAVE. We're an army of parents. We ref I refer to myself as a momvocate. We're an army of motivated momvocates who are not going to allow our kids to become a generation of nicotine addicts. Some health advocates are pushing for higher taxes on e-cigarette products and want the same regulations that ban indoor smoking applied to vaping. Nora? Really interesting, John. Thank you.